when we talk about the eSports, we find a situation in which we can describe a long time sitting, a long time in an static position, and a long time staring at a screen. As a consequence of this, our daily physical activity can be reduced with the consequent reduced caloric expenditure and the possible problems derived from them. In addition, the muscles near our spine, as neck, back and lumbar area, which are responsible to maintain a correct posture, can become excessively fatigued and may lose their ability to maintain the posture. The main tool we have to combat this situation is fitness training or physical training. But the lack of general physical activity is not only a problem in terms of health. We are also failing to take advantage of a tool to improve our condition that we are to allow ourselves to be better competitors and combat the specific fatigue that our work as eSport athletes can generate. Improved training increases the myelinating process, which mainly improves our neurotransmitter capacity, which translates into an improvement in our nervous system, which is in charge of controlling our muscles. Some studies have indicated an improvement in the nervous signal associated with strength training, as well as improved coordination and delayed fatigue when carry out medium or high intensity strength training programs. The main objective of strength training will be the maintenance of an active muscle mass, the correct support function of our body structures and the improvement of our nervous systems, both in delaying fatigue and our ability to maintain attention. To carry out this strength training in a general way, we must choose exercises that involve a large part of our muscle mass. Among them, we can highlight the bench press, the squat and the deadlift. Also, as specific exercises, we must choose those that we allow strengthening the neck, shoulders, limbs and the central part of the body, the core. As auxiliary exercises, we can choose uh, stretching exercises and mobility uh, exercises to improve, to uh, develop the range of movement and our agility. As the main variables to take in a, into account uh, when establishing uh, an strength training program, we can name the training frequency, the training volume and the training intensity. In training frequency, we need to work at least three days uh, a week during a period of eight weeks to show positive changes in all physical level, in our fitness level. Furthermore, within each of these training sessions, we should choose at least three series of workout for each of the selected exercises. This volume of work has been reported as a enough training volume to show improvement in our physical capacity. But not only the frequency and volume of training are important uh, variables. The training intensity seems to be the key to achieving significant improvement in our levels of physical condition. Do at least a repetition in each of these series with the weight that allows us doing the double of reps seems to be the minimum intensity 
enough exercise to uh, strength gains. But not only our musculoskeletal system must be developed. The training of our perceptual capacity is another of the key points to take into account for our training as the development, recovery and recalibration of our visual and auditory capacity and these are key factors for the processing of the input information in our system. The visual and auditory capacity are closely related to the ability to adjust the depth of vision, the dilation of the pupils and the perception of a stimuli for their consequent resolution and associated response. Therefore, it's a mandatory to carry out plans of work focused on maintaining perceptual abilities. The lack of ability to fix the gaze or to maintain an active point of view is one of the main things to take into account to carry out tasks that allow us to improve our correct perception of visual stimulus, which are very important part of eSports. Some of the solutions to carry out this type of task will be composed of activities that allow us to have visual feedback. This visual feedback should be about movements at the exact position in which we intend to fix our eyes. This type of activities can be passive or dynamic. But not only our visual capacity must be worked. As we said previously, the vestibular apparatus is a fundamental part of our performance and his role in our perceptual capacity and in maintaining our position is very relevant. Vestibular apparatus needs to be properly maintained and trained for correct postural control. Trying to progress in different tasks that we are seeing on the screen will be the key to maintaining our coordinative and postural perceptual capacity as a fundamental tool for maintaining health and improving our capacities for eSports.